Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we discuss the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, have lifestyle conversations. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my very interesting co anchors with me, Ife Omai. That's me. And Ife Oluwa. That's me, that's me, that's me. <laughs> You're not going to ruin it for me. Yes, that's me. <laughs> it is ruined already. <laughs> you know, you used to beg Ife Omai, because I think I'm, I'm on board. <laughs> okay. Mm. So who should I call first next time? No, call me so I can be ruining it for him. Okay, I'm cool. trying to make him stop this nonsense. All right. All right. I'll find something else. Mm -hmm. What would you do? You jump on the table. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> it is I. Like <laughs> okay, so... Um, I can just say don't leave me. Oh, gosh. I guess congratulations are in order for Genevieve and Aki on Motor Show as they joined the Academy's um, membership invitees. The Academy extended invites to 819 film influencers from across the globe. If the 819 members accept the invite, agents, members of the 2020 class will be allowed voting privileges at the upcoming Oscar. Mm. Big deal. Yeah, it feels like a compensation for Genevieve. No, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But she didn't get the award. Mm. I, 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 I really like this type of award. I think it, it helps at least, I don't know, maybe preach to the, to the industry that you can keep going at it. There's many tables to try and fill and sit on and be part of. And I'm all about diversifying the table just to have, you know, Africans, Nigerians and that table is a big deal. Mm. So I'm glad. And I think they're both very deserving. Yeah, Akio Motosho is the man I wanted to remember his name when I said he's the one um, working on the first series for Netflix in Nigeria. Right, so yeah, right. he's the one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I've seen his um, Wikipedia page. Mm -hmm. It's embarrassing to say Wikipedia out loud because it's not a viable source. But I've seen his is Wikipedia. Is it not? It's not. Okay. <laughs> You've seen his Wikipedia. Like, I can go and change it now. Mm. So it's... It's not very So it's not very reliable. because of bad children like <laughs> Okay. So Go it's tell. nice that I've seen his some of his work and stuff and it's really nice. Congratulations to the both of them. Like, I think they're both deserving of the award. And um, considering what you said about compensation for Genevieve, I see it, I don't see it as compensation. I see it like, okay, since you didn't get the award, we're just going to put you in there so that you can learn the ropes. So that's that a compensation. Uh, it's not, no, it's for her to learn. Uh, it's it's a learning process. I, 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 I don't understand you, but it's okay. Mm. This table, this massive table if you, with, with if masters. If you don't want to go and no, 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 the line of thing. compensation, I, I think I thought you were going to say um, this is to share, say they appreciate the effort you actually put no, no, no. into... Another, uh, thing, another yeah, thing is yeah. that mm -hmm. someone like Genevieve who made such a bold move and made a movie like Lion Arts and put it out there on Netflix and was actually nominated would be in the best position when somebody else doesn't get such an award to come out and say, okay, these are the reasons why you did not not get it because she's a she's a very good author authority on over that. Failure. Wow, if it... It's not over oh, okay. come on, are you um, Someone like Amotola is already authority. there and who else can I remember now? But yeah, this is this is kudos to her and I like how the um, news platform says, of course they will accept the invitation that they are not expecting. But what if Genevieve says, you know what, I'm not interested. I don't Do think she will. Okay. Well, it, that would be a good thing to, hmm. to, to bring back to Tea Time to talk about. Yeah. Okay. Um, tea Time will continue right after this very short break. Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child. I decide that every day. <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like Ali Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to die, everybody feeling all right. Still make music and people are still by. Some side they look myself minimal. Are you? music is for mature-minded people. Like God DM sometimes from Malawi. Like. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> sleeping early. Sleeping early. <laughs> Welcome back. This is still Tea Time on Plus TV Africa. Child Rights International, um, an NGO in Ghana, petitions Ghana CID to investigate 
Aqua Pempolo over nude photo with her son. Um, in an attempt to celebrate motherhood and her son's seventh birthday, the actress shared a photo that has now gone viral of her posing naked with her son standing in front of her for his birthday shoot. Many found the photo distasteful and um, the NGO has petitioned Ghana CID to investigate the actress. And in a statement, they say, um, quote, we deem this act as a violation of the welfare principle of the Children's Act and abuse of the child's right to privacy and dignity. We wish to notify your esteemed office to investigate the taking of the said image and its circulation, end of quotes. Um, but um, the actress has come out as well to defend herself, and here is what she is saying. My post for wishing my son today a happy birthday in the morning. I want to clear the air. And we all know that I'm an artist. And anything I post on my page... It's a message out there. As an artist, whatever I post is an artistic impression. Yes, I always try to send a message out there as a mother. So whatever I posted today was an artistic impression. But I'm not trying to portray porn on my page. I can't do porn with my son. I even bath always with my son. He's my son. I bath him. We bath in the bathhouse always. So, <laughs> but what I want to say is, I was trying to send a message to kids and children, even grown-up people who don't regard their parents, especially their mothers. Some people who see their parents out there mad, naked, and because they are naked, they'll run away and they won't take care of their parents, they won't clothe them. So what I was saying is, no matter how naked full you see your parents, don't run away from them. Get close to them and clothe them. That was what I was trying to say. Nakedness doesn't mean the person is topless or whatever. Someone can expose someone and that means the person is naked. So that was what I was trying to send out there. Because I'm an artist. So it was an artistic impression I was posting out there, but not porn, but all the same. I want to say that I'm so sorry if I, I hate or anyone got hate with my post this morning. And also want you to know that it wasn't bad intention. I was just trying to send a message. Okay, so um, that's her response to the, um, is it backlash now? Mm. So, um, joining us to speak of this from the point of view of a mother is um, Fumi Unoa Jefe. She's the founder of Single Moms NG, or is it Single Moms Niger? Yeah. So, hi, Fumi. Hi, Elsie. Hi, Ife. How you doing? Fine, thank Which you. Which of the well, well. now? Can it's you me, Omi. Hi, Ife. Hi, Ife. Hi, Ife. Hi, Ife. Okay, so what do you think about that um, photo? The first time you saw it, how, how what did it make you? What, how did you feel? Uh, I was, of course, when I saw it, I was, um, I was, I wouldn't say angry, but I, I just felt like pity for the woman. I just felt like, look, she wanted to show off her body, but didn't know how to do it, and just had to pin her son into it to say, oh, look, I have a seven-year-old and I still have a banging body. I'm sorry. That's how it came across to me. Mm. And so what I saw, and then I, I just listened, I listened to her apology when you played it now, and I, I think I saw it earlier on this morning, was it yesterday? And it still doesn't, it doesn't cut it. I don't understand. You, you see your parents, you're trying to use your body to say you should respect your parents or what. Her message doesn't really make any um, sense to me. So yes, I was just, you know, I was upset, but I, it was just more like pity for the child and also for the woman as well. Um, quick question, because I know you have a son, an amazing son that has actually even been on the show with us before. But my question is, is there a way that you could possibly take a picture with your son naked and it doesn't look cringe like this did? Absolutely not. I will not even, so he's nine now. I stopped giving him a bath when he was seven. Started giving himself a bath. Yes, I'll give him directions. You have to, because children become, and it's it's so easy. It's now, you don't even have to go to some school to learn it. If you check Google, children become aware of their bodies as early as two, three year olds. So they know. And so you have to begin to like draw the boundaries, draw the lines, let him know. And I know people go on like, oh yeah, his mother, he can see you naked. No. So even in my house, where we have a lot of females, you can't walk around you know, naked. I have a nine year old. So I will never, 
ever, ever. What's, what am I trying to do? Then I should do my own photo shoot naked now. Mm. Mm. Okay, so... Um, oh. oh. Okay. okay. Um, we'll try to get her back, but um, what do you think about this effect? Um, basically, I think um, it's absolutely wrong. That child is way too old for that picture. Um, she tried to bring Ciara into the mix, tried to bring Beyonce into the mix, but if you look at the ages of their kids as a then, they're not wise enough to see those days. I'm beginning to think at what age I began having an erection. So mm. I'm thinking like if at that age I was already getting an erection and I'm seeing such You're getting erection at seven? I said I'm beginning to, to think. think. Right, okay. She has not concluded it. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> at what age I began to get an erection. Mm. But I know kids grow faster. My, my generation is, 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 is a bit older than mm. each generation. But with the old exposure we see now, like even the NBC rules for television says you cannot see certain stuff till 4 p.m., mm. some till night. So... These days, we don't even have such rules anymore because even these kids have their pods with them, they have their phones, and they get exposed to so many things that get their mind running wild at a very early stage in life. So you don't know how exposed this child is. You may be the mother and be like, okay, I don't know. But you need to also have it at the back of your mind that with, this, with so much exposure going around in the world, with so much being said, I don't know what this child knows. Because you'll be amazed that some seven-year-olds actually know more than some 15-year-olds. I like how you're taking it from the sexualizing perspective from the boy. Um, I personally don't think that boy sexualizes his mother. My issue with this picture, because I've seen a lot of I'm pictures where... I'm not talking about sexualizing his mother. Well, it's I'm talking about erections and... Yeah, I'm not for his mother. Okay. I'm talking about getting his, his mind running wild and beginning to think of things and even beginning to talk to his peers. It happens. Okay. okay. Um, well, because when I saw that picture, what really stood out for me was the pose. Um, being nude, this is personal opinion, I have no problems with being nude. I... I I think even in general, I would like prefer the society that accepted nudity more, like stringing more skin. But that's just me, Phil Lua. We know. But when I saw <laughs> when I saw that picture, the pose really did irk me because she is standing right. It wasn't warm. You know, sometimes you can say skin to skin with your son and your child or whatever. Two things was that the pose was a bit weird. Like Fumi said, it kind of looked like, you know, it, she looked really sexual for a picture to be for her to be posing with her son like that. And then the, the age of the boy as well. Um, I think it was a bit too, it's too old for that. I, I understand after watching her video, I understand that she's trying to literally tell us that you shouldn't shame your naked mother. But um, I don't think that picture was necessary. I also have to put into, into, um, the, into this conversation that sometimes culturally skin isn't a problem. And I think that for this girl, like she said, she even showers with her son. I think nudity is something that isn't really like brand, like new or whatever. And even for me, I think I remember um, in, in, our, in our family, we didn't, especially with sexes, not f f mixed sexes, but I would enter my mom, my, my mom would enter my room while I'm, no, I'm dressing up and there's nothing I don't really cover and for her as well I don't think I'll be staring and they will take a picture but it was something that was like loose and everything so I think that's the type of family that she has as well but then so she took the it a bit too far so maybe the difference is now taking it uh, to mixed to gender media. right yes I'm um, bringing social media talking about bringing social media I mean everything you guys have said I don't think I'm going to go against anyone but it just makes me feel like there are a lot of people that are also doing this or see this as normal mm. and of course they are not bringing social media and they'll probably not be able to come out to defend her yeah, but of, yeah. i feel like there are a lot of people who have done this and they don't understand it's when someone comes out to say this is wrong because yeah. the idea is um you, went, you said something <coughs> about sexualizing which of course you can say that is what Ife was talking about mm. but to some they believe that it's you not, shouldn't yeah. even be thinking that, that way, way or have that thought that will give no, you an erection like you're looking at your mother your sister yeah. and all that it's not supposed to happen to you yeah. because you are in that environment no 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 no, no. When so I was talking there are people about who would defend this and tell you you know when I was there's nothing wrong with it when i was talking about sexualizing i wasn't referring to the boy sexualizing his mother. I'm talking about his mind, how the mind works. Now, so how does that the mind to... starts working, it means that <clears throat> you are actually getting a sexual vibe from your mother. Not from your mother. You can see that and get your mind running and you want from to see your, your mother. Mother. What did you, what did you see? It is an influence.
means, but it doesn't mean that you will get an erection from Fair your you're mother. Saying, yeah, but yeah, we, we, we're not saying that he has to directly sexualize the mother. But you're, what you're saying is that like, seeing the mother like that is yes, is, yes. is bringing up. Yeah, eh, 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 nah. to to bring eh, eh, no, no, that's not that's sexualizing the mother. Okay. That is not sexualizing um, the mother. I don't think we we're, were able to get things. Fumi back online. Um, but let's just move on from that conversation to August Alsina, who confirms Jada Pinkett Smith's romance, and he says it wasn't an affair. And um, Twitter has been blowing up <laughs> mm. since last night. Um, it's interesting to see the conversation starting from all this. What I do not now understand is, okay, so people are saying that Jada and... Um, Will Smith are in an open relationship. Mm. Um, I don't have a problem with open relationships. I think mm. I've, we've talked about this on this table over mm. and over again. Um, but the question now is, what are the ground rules for their open relationship? Mm. And does August um, have the... Sexual relations? For not one? even just sexual relations. Does he have the right to talk about um, this relationship he had with Jada in an interview. Mm. I mean, I don't know how their mix is working. Yeah, I think the, com the what really drew me to to it is the sexual part for me because there's different ways to be open. You can be open and want to bond with someone because you can't actually stop an attraction or a chemistry from happening even when you're in love with someone. You meet several people, but then there's one person that you meet that's not your partner. And you're like, oh yeah, there's something here. Mm -hmm. um, and maybe they explore that without sex or they explore that without, maybe there's boundaries in that and how they explore that. Um, that doesn't sound distasteful to me, personally. Um, but I don't know the details of that. However, all I can say is that Augustina, it was clearly in love with Jada. Jada. And for you to be clearly in love, then you've had experiences and you've had moments to be able to bond. Even um, the being in love is being questioned by our Twitter morale police now because they're saying August is way younger um, or was way younger when he had the thing he had with um, Jada. Well, he wasn't a child. Yeah, he wasn't a child, but power dynamics and saying he oh. was also in a at a terrible place he's still at a terrible place anyway because mm. he has a lot he's dealing with Hell from Christ. taking care of um his um um ne his nephews, nephews and, and nieces, nieces and becoming their parents and his health and all he has a lot battling and they're saying um he was in a place where he could be coerced mm. to think that it is love and it's actually not love. Uh, so that's, that's another really, conversation. That, I feel like that's a messing on his plate. If he was a child, I would understand that conversation. But I think that's an insult to an adult. Like just because you're younger than the person that you're dating mm -hmm. doesn't necessarily mean that um, you are coerced or... Because then you could say the same thing for relationships that are, like, the other way, like change the sexes, mm -hmm. right? So if it was a guy, for, for all the women who are maybe 25 and their husbands or partners are 36, oh, does that mean that they're also in a play? I don't, mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I think the love could be sweeter because he really needs it, like you yeah. said, and he's in a better position, but I don't think he was cool. But the good thing for me in this conversation is where they said that, I don't know if you noticed it, but when they say when Jada and um, Will were planning on moving from marriage to, to become life, life partners. partners. And that, that just hits me somehow because yeah. I feel like we really need to start having con open that. conversations yep. and understand the kind of rules and boundaries and the kind of love you can actually give and receive mm. to ensure that this person yeah. can actually be your yeah. life partner if that's yeah. what you're going for. Because the idea of marriage, just marriage now doesn't it's really also cut it. Yeah. Now, um, I would say though that I think what's really big about this controversy is also that they've denied it several times. Mm. On Red Table Talk that I watch every single episode, <laughs> they've said it. Why not swingers? Why not in an open relationship? Because swingers is that you both of you are having sexual mm -hmm. relations with the person at, at the time. They said they're not doing that. But they also said that they were not in an open mm -hmm. relationship. So somebody's lying because you get, Will Smith gave his blessing. Mm -hmm. So he's not like, it's not like they had an affair behind. So it's an open relate that is mm. the definition of whether open or not you're having sex you're not having sex you're falling in love you're not falling in love that is an open so relationship so who's going to red table talk jada mm -hmm. mm. i really don't care um what's going on with august alcina and um jada pinkett what really caught my attention was will smith that's a man who really loves a woman and is willing to give his all for her because um according to august alcina it was like um, when they had that conversation, it was like if he dies right now, you would know that he has given his all to a relationship. And I think that's just super amazing. So regardless of what your spouse is doing, you just need to understand them and put your happiness first. So what you, is um, Will doing <clears throat> that Jedi is 
not doing? What is the special it's, it's, thing? I'm saying what because Ogo said. Now, I don't know what Jada said, said to anyone else. I'm talking you about said this what... this is a man that loves someone. Yeah, no based on what saying, how? August has said. August is mean? talking about his own self, that he can die for her. So how does that prove that Will uh, I'm talking about what Will, that will allowing August. That Will giving the blessing to August? Is that what you're saying? That it's... Do you know what Will said to August? Did you read up to that? What part? did he say? Okay, what did he say? All right, cool. So he said that if he dies right now, he would know that he has given his all to reveal. August, August, August said, said that. that. Okay, if it was August who said that, then maybe my bad then. Yeah, it was August yeah, who August said, said that. Huh. I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm, the bans on social media is quite interesting. And mm. what made me also understand, I mean, some people just wake up to tweet things that are not true. But there's a particular tweet I saw where someone was saying that um, she used to work in a hotel where they um, lodge at some point. Um, Jada lodged in a separate room. We will launch in, uh, um, lodged in a separate room and they had the same escort. We all know what escort is um, to come and take care of them for the night. Different so times. It's, it, at the same night, and they had different escorts right. from diff the same escort company. Mm. So they understand what they are into. And as far as I'm concerned, once there's an understanding mm. and you understand what you want and mm. what you want for your partner, I think everybody can just stop talking and mind their own yeah. business. My I question is, why is August talking about this on an interview? Yeah. I don't know. But he, he talked about it very over. tastefully, though, to be honest. I like the way he talked. I wish, I, you know, I'd have been a lot <laughs> more angry. Like, it would have been a lot more interesting if he was like, yes, they're lying. And he talked mm. about it like some passion. And he denied, it, and he denied it for a lot of years until he's saying that, okay, he can't, he admire, he appreciates I'm, what I'm he sure, has I'm sure, love. yeah, I'm sure mm -hmm. um, he didn't. It's probably not in love. It's just mm -hmm. a difference between being in love and appreciating what you had with somebody. Okay, he was in love. He appreciated what he had with her, and maybe that guy was someone wants to back. die for someone. It's not in love. <laughs> it doesn't have to be in love for you to. But you were just going to give the same compliments to Will Smith. Yeah, but because Will Smith is the husband for you to give your wife out like that. So yes, of she's course. also giving the husband out. Exactly. So it's understanding in a relationship that really counts. And, and that's I what that's so big. And and I absolutely think that a lot of people should just mind their business and just let these people live their happy lives, man. Then, what, before we mind our business, though, <laughs> while you are in their business, I think it's something that you should emulate. I'm not and saying then. that copy word for word, but the fact that you can have such an open relationship that transcends the box that marriage keeps you in. So anything <clears throat> that works for you, I don't think that worked for me, Sha, but I'm not sure I haven't gotten there and I've not been married to someone for that long. But whatever it is that, that you long. can... I have, well, I have not been married and I haven't been with anyone for that long and I haven't had kids with them. But it's good to be able to have that conversation where you can change the norms and like, okay, this norm doesn't genuinely work for me. Mm -hmm. And they're still together because I think adding, adding um, what's it called? Um, uh, what's his name? Help me. August. August. Um, chat into what I've learned about them. There was a period where they were going to divorce themselves and mm. it was really bad. Like, they so didn't talk to, she cried for every day. So I feel like that's probably the breaking point for them. That it was either a divorce or we actually open, it up. open this relationship mm -hmm. up. And it's worked for them and they have a beautiful family. So yeah. And the good thing about open relationship is that it eliminates cheating if you are if you play by the rules. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Um, I think that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching and join the conversation by sending us your opinions via WhatsApp to 0906057519 or tweet at us at Plus TV Africa. Also catch up on this episode and all our exclusive content by visiting and subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa. Watch Tea Time on Auto TV and in London on Ben Television. My thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Ife Omai. And that's it felt low or shrink yeah. Yes, that's me. <laughs> that's me, that's me. And the entire production <laughs> team. Thank you for watching Plus TV Africa Stay Time. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.